Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I am today going to open a package I got from Patty Wax. Um, this is actually my fourth order from them and I haven't done a video yet because I was having difficulty with this stuff. Um, for you that are just coming to this video and have no idea what it is. Patty Wax is a specially made wax for diamond painting. It is not meant for burning and it has awesome scents. Each one has its own special scent and they smell awesome. So I worked with Robin and we kind of um, eliminated possibilities and finally figured out what I was doing wrong. So I'm going to show you what I do and how I make it work. So let's open the package first so you can see which ones I got <clears throat> this time. My first order was an order I placed to try it out for the first time and I love the scent so much I just kept buying it for the scents. And I also ordered extras to put into three of my giveaway packages that I was giving out to people for a with the prize package that I sent. Okay, the first one is watermelon. Oh, we need scent vision. Oh my gosh. This package smells really good, but it's kind of weird because it's got different scents mixed in with it. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh man. So this is what they come, come in. There are blocks this size. They are $7.50 each block and they will last you a long time. So that's the first one. I'll get into how to use it here after I show you what all I got. And then this one is banana nut bread. Interesting. Let's see. That's a very interesting scent. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time determining whether I like it or not. It's not a real strong one, so it's kind of hard to really distinguish whether I smell banana or not. But I do, it's not a banana smell. It's more like, you know, what banana nut bread would smell like with the nuts and everything in it, so it's a little different than just straight banana. And then we have, okay, uh, this is a drink, one of my favorite drinks to get when I do go out. It's um, a very fruity drink, it's called Sex on the Beach, and oh my gosh. It smells just like the drink. Oh my word. Oh, it smells good. I love how she puts these little um, uh, pieces of uh, clay in here that match the brick. I mean, this one has, <laughs> it's funny, it has love and hearts. Um, the banana nut bread has some um, animals. There's some cats and dogs. But on the watermelon, there's watermelons. Super cute. Oh, I love this. Okay. I always order enough to get the free shipping. <laughs> so that's like five I have to buy to get that. Now, here's Daisy. I, I had received it as a sample with my first order, and I fell in love with this scent right away. Okay, so here's the one that I've been using. Oh, it smells so good. It's now called Oopsie Daisy. Um, but um, I had did not see it in the shop, and she um, made sure to get it restocked and let me know, and I was able to get it right away when it came in. And I purchased, I think there was five of them available, and I got myself two of them because... I just love this smell so much. Okay, so I have two Daisy, Sex on the Beach, Watermelon, and Banana Nut Bread. And she also sends you a sample, a little sample scent. This one's milk chocolate. Now, this was up in the shop, 
but I wasn't sure if it was something. And I, I like these little samples that she sends with your orders because that kind of, that's how I knew that I wanted the daisy smell because it came as a sample. And now, and that really smells, that smells like a Tootsie Roll. Oh my gosh. And it's in a little duck shape. My, my nails are horrible. Please don't look at them. <laughs> um, and we got something else here. It's got the Patty Wax emblem on it. Let's see, what is this? I'm not sure. Um, oh, a little cup? Maybe for trash? I don't know. It's got a sticker on the bottom. Um, I don't know where I'd put that, that where it would go in a permanent spot, but let's see, does it pop off? I don't want to break it. Yeah, it okay, so this kind of goes, it goes in there. Just not sure what it is. It's um something that you attach to something because it's like permanently attached because it's got this sticker. I think you could pop this off. I'm not sure. I don't want to pull it out and then break it. So I'll ask Robin before I do anything permanent to it. Uh, so maybe I could stick one of the little samples in here and I don't know if it would smell through it or not, but um, it's interesting. I'll have to ask her what it is because I don't know. And then she always sends you a little note here telling you a thank you note. And she gives some stickers. This one says Hawaii. And oh, it's a baby dragon in a bottle with crystals. That's cute. I'll probably put that one on my laptop. Thank you, Robin. Okay, so... Uh, it, they don't need special storage, but you can get little tins there that are just basically to look pretty. And that's what it says right here. It says, uh, uh, please keep coming back for more great scents, colors, and innovative storage solutions basically to look pretty because it truly needs no special storage. Um, and yeah, it's cool that she has this pre-printed and then she puts your name on here and then signs it. And that's really nice and personal there. And she's got her patty wax sticker for the discerning diamond painting, discerning diamond painter. I can, I can probably, I'm going to keep that sticker. All right. So, um, let's, let me get out my diamond painting and I will show you some little tricks and how I use it. All right. Um, I am a very frugal <clears throat> wax user. Um, doesn't matter what kind of wax it is. I am always keeping my extra pieces and compacting it in with whatever it came out of. <laughs> I don't ask me why, but with patty wax, I'm especially frugal because of the fact that it isn't cheap and I really want to maintain as much of it as long as I can. So, um, with me not knowing how to use it right, <laughs> um, I, but I, I did not waste a lot during my escapades and this, this has on this end, because this has, um, something else in it and I'll explain why, um, I have on both of these, I have a patty wax in both of these and this one needs to have more put in. It's about due. I have been working on it and trying it out and testing it and figuring out how to work it. Okay, so this one's going to need it too. My biggest hint is something that, well, one of the biggest hints is you can't use it in a room straight out of the package. It does need to get warm. See, like this one, this one is my my uh, juicy strawberry, and it is. I mean, it's been sitting out room temperature, but it's really cold here, so it's not very hard. I mean, it's not very soft. 
So in order for me to fill up my pen, this stuff isn't going to work too well. So I have a couple of little hints. I have a space heater and when I want to just get going, I will stick, I'll turn it up a little bit so I, it'll stay on and I will stick it in front of it so it gets warm enough and then I will scrape like so. As you can see, those are my leftovers from before. Um, if it's a bigger multi-placer, I, I do it on the side like this until it gets filled up and I don't leave big strands. I will push them back in and remold it to the block because I want to use every last bit of it. And as you can see, I've pushed pieces in from prior that were leftovers. Okay, now Mr. Camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Uh, same with this one. Uh, you can see how I've got pieces in here from my leftovers from before. Because this is my favorite. I just didn't want this to go anywhere. So other, other than you know, the different hints that you've seen in other videos on how to warm it up, my best thing that I found is my light pad because if you notice on any light pad, there is a spot over in here that gets really warm. I turn the side that you're supposed to do it from because you're supposed to do it from the side that's curved, not the side with the, um, you're supposed to start on this side, not the flat side. And I turn it upside down onto the warmest spot it's not going to melt. It's not going to melt onto my thing. I mean, if you left it on 24 hours a day, it might eventually melt onto it. I don't know, but it softens it and it keeps it, keeps it soft so that when I need to refill it, all I have to do is pick it up and it's nice and soft and I can fill in my pen. So I'm going to leave this here while I diamond paint, but for now I need to get this one warmed up. So I'm just going to stick it in front of my heater and get it to um, soften a little bit. But the biggest hint to come from me is that, because this is what, what problem I was running into. I mean, I've been trying this for a month and I always use on my round drills, I use a, a mesh ruler. And with a mesh ruler, you have to press pretty hard to get it through the, to let it, to get that click for it to click through the mesh, the holes. Well, come to find out, I was having to refill my pen every few drills, and I just didn't understand how people could make it last so long. Come to find out, people have said, you know, use a light touch because you, you, you know, your wax comes out if you push too hard, especially patty wax. If you're pushing too hard, sometimes the whole thing can come right out. Uh, you can't use, it's not advised to use a mesh ruler when using patty wax because you do have to press harder and the wax doesn't like that. So I tested that theory by starting this diamond painting here, which is around and not using a mesh ruler. And you know, I'm not doing too bad as far as keeping my rows straight, if I say so myself. And I mean, they are off a little bit, but I think I can live with that. I will still use my mesh ruler, but if I want to use patty wax, I can't. And so that's where I'm going to run into my conundrum, whether I want to use a mesh ruler or do I want to use patty wax? I have a ton of patty wax. I have a bunch of other flavors um, or scents, and I'll show you those in a second. But this is nice and warm. So is my hand. And so with a multi-placer, what I do, um, as she showed, is I go on the, see it's so soft now, it's just coming right off. It's super soft. <laughs> um, so I do like this, and then when I get enough, I take it and I squish it right in the middle to get it to come up, but that, it doesn't always work because sometimes it just stays behind when you do it right back on here. So I will do it like on my table or on the edge of my diamond painting. 
this is giving me problems probably because I already have some wax in there and and I'm gonna just gonna form it back in because it's picking up that big piece that I tried to form back in there all right so let me try this again I'm just gonna get some wax in there and I know she says you don't need to do it but I like to just sit there and I will push it in I get it nice and compacted in there keeping my excess and what's left over and I, you know doing it this way works for me and this way I'm not gonna have a lot of wax that's gonna come off onto my drills because I'm I'm conditioning it I guess you could say I'm getting it ready and after I get it pushed in there with my fingers because I want to save as much as I can and then I take a big whiff oh it smells so good see there's still a bit on there but not much there's some hanging off the edge so this is where I will take it and go on here, let me put it up here a little bit like the edge here and I'll just kind of make it push it flat that way I know it's getting pushed into it and not just coming off and then then I take my excess and I put it back on my brick and you know this I only have to do this when I fill it up and then you know I'm good to go for hours I was actually working for hours last night I uh, granted I was using several different multi placers but I didn't have to replace my patty wax at all um, until it was time to close up you know put everything away because it was getting time to fill the pen I said okay that's a good time to call it a night but I do take the end of my tweezers and I just scrape it across the top to get any excess left over and put it back on my brick <laughs> I just turned my light off this diamond painting definitely has to have a, a light pad because it's very dark with this image and with this background it's so dark I can't see these symbols without the light pad all right so let's show you how my freshly filled pen is going to work I mean it still looks like it's got red in there it, there is red from before but there is a layer of the yellow on top all right so I do keep a pair of pointy tweezers handy because I do notice that um, you don't want to use your pen that has patty wax in it to move your drills around because um, that ends up pulling the wax out every time I do it so going along with needing to use a light hand to place your drills uh, you also need to just be careful what you're using your drill tip for I'm used to using my tip to move my drills around so I've had to get used to not doing that and using a you know I have a row straightener tweezers I have all that stuff handy so that um, so that I don't I'm not tempted to use my pen that has my patty wax in it to straighten my drills and not that I find straightening my drills works because it seems like after I do it it just goes right back to where I had it but anyway that's beside the point so don't use your tip with your patty wax in it to move your drills around. That's another thing that's going to be your downfall. All right, so this is my longest strip of this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and fill it with this uh, four placer. And I just set it down in there. I'll show you next time when I pick it up. And I'm going to lay lightly I don't even really push unless it doesn't want to come off and I set it down there and then you know eventually I just go around and I push them down and make sure that they stay and they stay I mean if your sticky is good enough which the sticky on this is pretty good um, you don't need to press real hard because there's no mesh ruler so what's the need all right so I'm going to just pick up more drills here and if I have to push hard in the tray I will I'll push a little harder but it's when I'm placing it on here that matters because it is not wanting to come off because I press too hard 
I still want to be really gentle about pushing it on the canvas because okay, this glue is not as good as I thought it was. So they got embedded in there a little too hard. But I don't want I don't want the wax to end up on the canvas. And I don't want it to end up being not sticky and I have to refill it again. But as you can see, it's got indentations. I don't know if you can see. Let's get my focus going again. It's got the indentations going for the drills, and that helps a lot with being able to do speed drilling, especially when you're going trying to lay them down lightly. I guess that goes hand in hand. If you are needing to lay them down lightly, you're going to need to pick them up lightly as well. So it's working really good for me. And I was one of those that was almost like, I don't like patty wax because of this, this, and this. And it was just that I was using a tool that patty wax wasn't made to be used with. So if you love your patty wax, you're going to have to decide whether you want to use a mesh ruler or your patty wax. So I'm going to um, just have to figure that out, what I want to do. Um, but when I use a mesh ruler, I have something completely different that I will be using that I found that is awesome. So that'll be for another video. This one was all about patty wax and how I found that I can finally use it. So that's how I do it. And if you want, right now, I'm going to show you the other scents that I have. Um, I put them in different containers just so that the scents could stay separately not because they need to be stored in containers, but, well, so I ran out of containers, so I kept some of them in the bag. I have Very Vanilla, and she runs out of scents quickly, so that's why I tried to snag ones that I thought I would really like. Cherry Bomb, and this one smells so good. Come on, focus. There we go. And I've got the Cucumber Melon, which is so good. Apricot, I don't know what the C-H-A-M is short for, but it smells so good. Oh my gosh. And so that's apricot. And ooh, there was one hiding. Let's see. Try to find them all. Then I've got cinnamon stick, uh, grape knee high. Oh my gosh, oh, they're just so amazing. And then I have a creamy vanilla. And these are light. Oh, that one's. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That this one's lighter than the very vanilla. I mean, uh stronger to me it's stronger than the very vanilla it might be because i have it in a little tin i don't know but they are different vanilla smells I, it's hard to explain but this one they both smell like vanilla but they are different <laughs> they're the same but they're the different yeah um okay and here is pear berry oh man these are so yummy they smell yummy and, oh, I have three more. Let's see. I have one in the living room. Um, it was a sample as well, so, it, but it's candy cane, and I love that one, too. This one is Enchanted Apple. So I have, okay, yeah, this is the only apple I have. And that one's a little more subtle. But they 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 all smell nicely. I mean, they're not too strong and they're not too subtle. But you can definitely smell them. And this one's black cherry fizz. And this one smells kind of soapy to me. Kind of like a, a black cherry soap. 
it doesn't smell like something I'd want to eat. Um, whereas like cherry bomb does <laughs> or watermelon. And then lastly, we've got granny's kitchen and this one, oh my gosh, it does. Now that I've had it in the tin, it's kind of had the aroma to, I don't know, but the tin smells like it too. Oh my gosh. It smells like oatmeal cookies. So yeah, I, I love diamond painting now that much more that I get to smell these wonderful smells all the time. And I'll leave her link down below where you can find her Etsy shop, where you can find, well, you might be able to find some of these flavors, but they may be out of stock. Um, and it seems like every time I go there, there's a different flavor, different scent that I've never seen. And now that I know what boy band smells like, I want one of those, but I just placed, like I said, my fourth order, so I won't be getting anymore for a while. I always say that and I end up doing it, but, um, yeah, I've got to hold myself back from buying more because, you know, this is going to take me a lifetime to go through. But anyway, there you go. That is my take on patty wax. I do enjoy it now that I know what to do with it and how to keep it, um, soft enough to fill my pens. Yeah, see, that's nice. It's not too hot. It's just I got a little warmth to it to where I can actually scoop it up and um, use it right right when I need it and not have to wait for it to get warm up or stick my hand in front of that heater because that gets hot. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what you think. I know a lot of people, there are differing opinions on patty wax. Um, a lot of people have uh, have had great experiences, and then some people have are having issues. So maybe um, this can help you. I don't know what your particular issues are, but I know what mine were, and I have overcome them. And I am so happy I did because I had all this patty wax, <laughs> and um, I really wanted to be able to get a chance to use it. So that's it for this video. Please leave a comment down below. For me and let me know what you think on how your experience has gone so far with patty wax and don't forget to hit that like button it does help me out a bunch i will see you guys in my next video have fun diamond painting and using patty wax and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care bye <laughs>